City of Kenlock is praying and pulling for Bufford while getting ready for a cleanup day. We have Fire Chief Kevin Stewart and Captain Darion Meeks. They, are, they join us live on Skype. Good morning, gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Kim. Well, Chief Stewart, first, how is our Lydia doing right now? Our Lydia uh, currently is, uh, she's resting and um, she's, she's hanging on in there. She's fighting really tough and uh, she's doing well considering the circumstances. And Captain Meeks, how are, her, how are you and her colleagues holding up? Uh, we're doing good, hanging in there, uh, taking it day by day. I can imagine that it's got to be very, very tough, especially for the ones who were with her on that night. Yeah, yeah you know, I, I really commend my guys. They've really banded together and uh, are really taking care of one another. Uh, we're all standing tough and standing ten toes deep for our Lydia, you know, and uh, we're, we know she wouldn't want it any other way. She's a fighter. She's a strong young lady. And uh, we're going to see her all the way through till she uh, reaches her 100% recovery. And Chief Stewart, when you think about that little boy all the way from St. Charles raising money for her and her family, what do you think? You know, uh, Cooper is a special young man. And uh, my lieutenant uh, went out there and uh, he was sworn in as an honorary firefighter for the Kinlock Fire Protection District. And so he has a special place here at Kinlock. And um, Cooper, if you're listening, I'll be waiting for you to report in for duty, sir. <laughs> Looks like he's already shown up for sure. Captain Meeks, is there anything that the community can do for her family? Just be there and uh, give as much support as possible. I imagine that during times like these, you start to see GoFundMe pages pop up. Should we look to the Facebook page for Kenlock Fire to make sure that we are actually following a legitimate GoFundMe account? Yes, ma'am. Uh, there's only one official GoFundMe campaign in progress for our Lydia, and you can find the link on the new Kenlock Fire Protection District Facebook page. And uh, another thing, you all have the Kenlock Cleanup Day coming up on July 11th. Are you all looking for any volunteers and equipment at this time? Um, that is correct. Um, our wonderful uh, state rep, Rachel Prouty, is organizing this event. And she is requesting volunteers to come out and support the event. Um, if you go to the new Kenlock Fire Protection District Facebook page, you will also find the flyer and the link to sign up to volunteer to come come out and help with the cleanup effort that she is sponsoring and hosting. Uh, we're we're supporting Rachel, Rachel Prouty. She has proven to be true to her word. Um, she has been a champion for the Kenlock community, and uh, we support her 100%. And Captain Meeks, what would it mean to have our Lydia come back home to a cleaner, brighter Kenlock? What'd you say? I'm sorry. Sure, I apologize. What would it mean uh, for our Lydia to come back home to a cleaner, brighter Kenlock after the cleanup? Oh, man, she's going to love it. I know she's going to love it. Well, the Kenlock Community Cleanup will stage at Kenlock Park on July 11th. We will have more information and a link to that Facebook page on fox2now.com. Chief Stewart, Captain Meeks, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it.